Um, hi guys and welcome to another Straloxy++ tutorial and we have some time so let's go over um, this tutorial um, let's see let's go over some other data types and um, stuff like that well uh, you haven't seen an enum before an enum is basically an enumeration so be so how do we define enum say we want enum dogs right and uh, now we open the enumeration and we say Stal uh, stallion is not a dog but uh, dog uh, I don't know or let, let's make the enumeration weapons uh, so uh, pistol shotgun and actually we don't need the quotes around here so pistol shotgun um, machine gun uh, bazooka rocket launcher so this is our enumeration and um, now we close oops sorry and um, well you you might ask what does this do Th that's a good question um, so we write using namespace std because if we want to make this a program we have to so I made an enumeration of weapons and uh, I'll put the definition in the second line so now if I make my main class and I say see out which weapon do you want and now I see out one uh, sorry one pistol see out two uh, shotgun so I'm basically copying the enumeration. See out three um, ma machine gun. Uh, well, and we want it an endel everywhere, so I'll just do that quickly. All right. So we want an endel here, and we want an endel here. Um, see out f four. Four. Uh, bazooka uh, and L and C out five uh, will write rocket launcher so and L right uh, so now we have um, our main body and now we say integer web weapon choice seeing weapon choice so let's let's put two indels here so that and oops and l and l so we get uh, the weapon choice now uh let's switch weapon choice so so far this is really obvious and you could have done this in the first tutorial it's nothing trivial so now uh, when we put our cases we can say case pistol um, so what this will do actually is now when we say case pistol it will go back and it will look at this enumeration that we we declared we declared it as a global enumeration so it will s and it will automatically give these values so the pistol will be a zero um, so uh, shotgun will be a one machine gun will be uh, two etc so we have to sweep weapon choice minus one right because we have to or, or otherwise we can do weapon choice minus minus and then switch weapon choice case pistol see out you have 
chosen ch chosen a pistol uh, break so now case shotgun and we will do this to every uh, so you have ch chosen a sh shotgun so same thing here you have chosen a pistol you have chosen a shotgun so break and then the same thing uh, I'll just use the copy and paste because I'm being lazy oops so once again uh, next next so which one's the, the next one is machine gun bazooka case machine gun case bazooka and case rocket launcher right so a machine gun you have chosen a bazooka you have chosen a rocket launcher so this is fairly basics enumerations are basics I, I should have uh, given them to you earlier but uh, I'll give them to you now anyways and uh, so w it, it just makes the code easier to read because you can say that if the user uh, chose pistol you just see out you have chosen the pistol otherwise you have to remember that a pistol is one a shotgun is two a machine gun is three so you have to write case one case two case three so let's just write uh, C in or let's write um, I include uh, C on IO dot H sorry and here let's write uh, get we'll use that because that's better return zero and let's run this and save it as enumerations and now you see it says which weapon do you want so uh, sorry I choose one you have chosen a pistol pistol sorry and now I compile and run it again and I say I want two you have chosen a shotgun so basically it, uh, it allows you when you switch you can just write uh, use this enumeration um, and write instead of writing case one case two case three you can just write case pistol case shotgun because you define the enumeration here and uh, same thing you can define this pistol to be five and then uh, your enumeration would be uh, so case pistol uh, if the user chose choose five then you'd have a pistol but anyways uh, that's the basics on enumerations I hope you like this lesson and um, of course it's not it's not even close to all of the things you can do with an enumeration but this is just a basic intro so if you want to learn more on enumerations I suggest opening up your Internet Explorer browser and going to um, enumer to Google enumeration C++ sorry and uh, here I come up with some so you see I, I come up with uh, a couple of things on enumerations so just Google it and you'll have you get a lot of tutorials so thank you for watching this lesson and I hope to see you in the next one have fun.